Tuesday morning uh, to have gone through the process, with the entire draft process, but obviously the focus on uh, Garrett and Josh here of late tonight, and just really overwhelmed with excitement, having you know talked to both players and, and, and being able to sit here thinking that in June we drafted both of these guys, how excited we were then to be able to call their names and drafting them, and then to have the support from, from Bob and Frank and Neil to go through this process saying, you know what, we've got a, we have a legitimate opportunity to maybe sign both of these players and bring them into our organization and to have it work out tonight, have both guys excited, have myself and, and, and the organization excited. It's just been a, a good day all the way around. You saw Garrett Cole many times, uh, you know, power arm guy. What do you see in him that's going to help bring what, what do you see in him that's going to help the organization? Well, I mean, Garrett brings a lot to the table. I mean, you're talking about a power starting pitcher. He's got power stuff. He's got multiple weapons, you know, breaking ball, change up. You know, his, his, uh, his slider is a put away pitch, you know, when it's consistent. His change up has really come on. It's definitely missing bats, and he's, he's got feel and confidence to use it. Obviously, the, the high velocity, high end, that has that extra gear he can reach back. The mentality he displays on the mound, his competitiveness, his tenacity. Uh, he went through some adversity at times this year, how he handled that, his interaction with his teammates, his coach, you know, played in, 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 a, in very good competition, has played for Team USA. I mean, th this guy has a lot of ingredients that you look for and that we're excited about bringing in and, and having him get his professional, you know, career and starts underway and, and looking for a lot of good things to come. Josh was described as one of the top outfielders, one of the top position players available in the draft. Uh, it's been described as a potential five-tool player. What did you see in Josh that you like so much? A very good-looking young athlete. I mean, this guy's a baseball player, but he has skills. He's got, you know, upside. He's a switch hitter. He's got power from both sides. He's got a nice swing. Uh, runs the bases aggressively. Likes to hit. Has fun playing. Can play the outfield. Again, to your point, Dan, this brings a lot of attributes, athleticism, has character, uh, has the makeup and the work ethic that a young you want to see in a good young player with that type of ability. And again, just excited to be able to bring him and our organization along with Garrett you know, here tonight. Garrett and Josh, the two guys that always get a lot of the pub, the ink, because they're the first two. We, we have the team was able to sign each of the first 10 draft picks. Uh, what does that mean to have a good draft to get all 10 picks, the first 10 picks signed, and 20? Uh, some over 20 overall? To answer a great question, as we've talked about back even prior to the draft and right around it, that a lot of the attention, rightfully so, was on the first pick because it was the first number one overall. However, our focus has been then and now, you know, we drafted 50 rounds, not one, and to be able to put the plan in action, the baseball plan of incorporating the draft, going through it, and now. You know, the business side of this, being able to identify guys, work through the signing process, and to your point, be able to bring those players into the organization, have that depth, create that value. Again, our, our scouts excited, we're excited, and it just feels good to be here sitting tonight with, with these guys. So those that are out playing and the two, you know, the two or three that we just signed to get them out playing.